under the weather today. I went out and got buck wild last night, had two mojitos, and today I'm dying. I don't know what happened to me, but I can't hang, clearly. Um, anyways, hope you enjoy this video. video. I'm not sure how it's going to all turn out, but we'll see. So first I'm going to be starting off with NYX Clear Brow Gel Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate and I'm going to be applying it with the MAC 263 brush. By the way, does anybody else say Anastasia instead of Anastasia? Only after starting to watch other people's YouTube videos I'm realizing that I pronounce everything wrong. Anywho, as you guys can see, I just applied the clear brow gel first to my brows just to shape them out a little bit. Uh, it's always important to brush your eyebrows before you start applying anything to them. Uh, now I'm taking with the 263 brush and the dip brow, starting on underlining my brow pretty much, kind of defining the very bottom. I don't like to start on the very front or on the very back. I start about two-thirds of the way in, um, giving a little bit of definition by doing short strokes. That way you don't overdo it. So you can see kind of how I made that line there. And then um, I always like to start filling in a little bit more, starting on the outside and working my way in. That way you can kind of get the most product on the outside of the brow. And then once you go inward, you have much less on the brush, so you're not overdoing it in the front. Because I feel like if you overdo the front of your eyebrow, that's when it starts to look really, really fake. You lose all of the hairs that you could usually see there. Um, and that's when it's starting to look like you kind of took a stamp and like... Popped it on your forehead. Something else really important to notice is that I keep the brush pretty horizontal, um, angled whenever I'm filling in the brow. That way I can just take whatever kind of line I've already created there and start blending that uh, product up into the eyebrow. So I'm not really going in and like really filling, filling, filling. I'm just more so taking the product and pulling it up through the hairs. So after I put the dip brow into the brow. I'm just going through and brushing them out again with the clear brow gel um, just to kind of reshape them and um, somehow I ended up smudging it on my face. So the next step I want you guys to pay close attention to. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation and a 242 brush from MAC. It's pretty much just like a nice flat brush um, and I'm using this product to lightly clean up under the eyebrows. I'm not going in with a concealer because concealer is really, really hard to blend. So if you're going to go for something more natural and you have to put concealer underneath the eyebrow, you're going to really see that product there. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Stick because that's the foundation I have on my face. Um, honestly, creams work better than liquids. And if I'm going to clean up at all on the very top of the brow, I only do it on the outside like you see right there. Definitely not in the front because that can get really, really harsh. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, looks like I made it through this video without dying, so go me.